Hello, I've had a few people ask how to do the scripting on BeamNG. The scripting that I used on the last two videos where I was getting multiple cars to run laps and so I thought I'd give it a shot doing a tutorial. I've done some tutorials in the past but I think in hindsight they were a bit of overkill because I added music and face cams and I think um, yeah I think this one I just want to keep quite simple. I think that's probably the best thing to do. And so we've got this new car, the Gavril Blue Buck. I love this one, it looks awesome. And what we'll do is we'll run through how to do the scripting. I've got the base coding that I used in the last video, which will be in the description. So all you need to do is copy that and then paste it. I would say it's a good idea to paste it into Notepad. So we'll open up Notepad. And I'll open up my saved, I'll open up my saved scripting. So this is the scripting that you'll use as a base. It's the AI drive using path. And here are the nodes. And you don't have to put every node in because the car will just automatically try and find the quickest way, the shortest way from one node to another. But I added every single node in because the cars were trying to cut corners and they kept hitting the barrier. So I thought, I, I, I thought I'd painstakingly put every node in. And then you've got a number of laps, which you can put here, whatever you want. And then aggression, which I think is between zero and three or between zero and four. I can't remember exactly, but I put 1.44 in because I thought that uh, was a good balance because I wanted to have some cars crashing and having making mistakes. But I didn't want, of course, them all to be going too slow or all of them crashing. So that seemed like a good place to start. So just for a quick, quick test, I'll show you what I mean. So I'm doing control C there to copy that and then back into to beam and what the button you need to press i'll try and show you which button i'm pressing because I, I think the us keyboards are set out slightly differently so for me it's this apostrophe button which is by the at but i think on the us keyboard the at is over number two so i'll show you which key i'm pressing that brings up this screen and which is i think the lua screen uh, i just had to alt and enter because for some reason the bottom line wasn't showing but so when you first open this screen the first thing that shows by default is GE Lua now I don't know if I'm saying it right or whether it's LUA so sorry about that but you need to make sure that you click on that and on the drop down go to the bottom one which is beam NG vehicle Lua because a couple of times I've accidentally left it at the top one I've pasted in my script and nothing happens so make sure that you select beam NG vehicle Lua now if we paste that in and then hit enter. There you go. Um, the the blue buck is now driving on his own. And so then press the apostrophe button again. That gets rid of that. Oh, drift tap. One of the apps that you will definitely need. Click on the app button on the left here. Escape. And then the app button here. And then you can add and search for AI. And you want to add this AI control app here. Yep. Perfect. I normally put it down there. Whoa! Oh dear, he's lost a wheel. <laughs> I can't trust you with anything, can I? Has he lost... Oh, he's lost one wheel. I thought he lost two wheels for a second. Oh dear. He is having a bad day. Um, anyway, so I've added that here. And then escape. Oi, what are you doing? Okay, let's, let's put him out of his misery. So what we can do... Stop. There you go. Good. He's... Oi, I've told you... Oi, I've told you to stop. Come on. So let's just reset him. Good. Okay, so we've been reset. So these nodes here, so the nodes here, we're looking here, Auto Junction 1, Derby, WP15, WP16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So these are the nodes. And to find out the nodes, what you need to do is click on the debug mode map and click on Navigraft. Okay. And then Shift and C to give you your, your free camera. And then if we fly up here, now you can see the nodes. Wait, I've lost the car. Oh, there, he's there. So these are the nodes. So you can see auto junction. That now look. If I um, can I can I do this? So you can probably see. So you can see here auto junction one, WP fifteen, WP sixteen, um, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, right up to twenty seven. And so you can see these nodes are matching, and it has to be exact because sometimes I miss something out and nothing happens. So you can see that the nodes are matching exactly. 
and that means that the car will follow this route and like I said before you can set whatever number of laps you want and the, the aggression so that's basically uh, where you get the codes where you get the nodes to put in to the coding here but what we'll do is we'll do one from scratch see I mean if you've got the patience the um, the options are pretty endless okay so for a test I'm going to try and make the car, hopefully you can see my mouse, so I'm going to try and make the car go around here and then around here, around those trees, around this looks like the pit lane and then back round back to there. So that's what we'll do and what we'll do is I'll bring up, so we need the, the navi graft on. Now remember you don't have to put every single node in. Okay, so we've got the base code. Now I'm going to scrap this but the first node, where should we start the car? I don't know. Ah, there. So we'll start the car, uh, just so, just in case we do multiple, so the cars have space. I'm going to start the car here. So that's Decal, Decal Road, 14407 underscore 4. Oh my goodness. Oh dear. What have I started? It's a lot more technical than the one I did before. So Decal Road, 1447 underscore 4. Right. So that would be the first one. And now we, we know we can just basically copy and paste that to make sure we've got the format right. I'm going to take out all of these nodes that we no longer need. We want to make sure we have that funky bracket thing. What I'll do is I'll copy that. We don't need to put every single one of these in. So let's do a test. Let's see if I put that one in and then one over there. So one, the one on the corner there. So Decal Road, 14407 underscore 23 so all we need to do we only need to change that now hopefully the car should go there the next one we'll put in is just so the car doesn't get too confused let's put for example decal road so there's a different number there so the next one will be so let's copy so the next one will be let's paste that but look you can see Oh, you, look, you can see we've missed a comma, so let's put a comma in there, space, this next code, and then comma. Good. So we need to make sure we put, I was going to put this one in here. So that's one, four, five, three, underscore, four. Oh, that was a stroke of luck. Good. And then I want to copy that. Make sure that we have the apostrophe. Um, sorry, the comma. In. Oh yeah. So I missed. I missed the number. One four five six three. So I missed the number. There you go. And I accidentally put two underscores. <laughs> okay. So that's the next one. And then the AI should hopefully be okay getting around this road. So the next one I'll put in is Decal Road. I can't quite make that out. Decal Road one four five seven eight underscore eleven is the next one, and then space paste perfect. And so this one is Decal Road one four five seven eight eleven one four five seven eight underscore eleven. Good. And then I'm going to put that one there. Just just so hopefully the uh, AI doesn't get too confused. Space and paste, and then we'll put that one there, Decal Road 14556. 14, what happened? 14556 five, underscore one. Okay. In fact, in fact, let's test it. I'll, we'll bring the car over. Um, and then we'll test it and just see if that works. F7. <coughs> oh dear. F7 if you want, you use free camera and then F7 to drop the car down and then shift R to reset position. Oops. Sorry, control R. Sorry, control R to reset position. So with a bit of luck, right, let's get rid of the, let's get rid of the navi graph. So we just disable that for now. So next we need to hit the apostrophe button again Make sure BeamNG Vehicle Lua is open. Then copy our new coding. So if you Alt and Tab out, if you Alt and Tab back and you don't see the, the script line to add your coding in, press hold Alt and press Enter. 
so you just need to make it fit the screen again okay so we've got beamng vehicle lure and then paste that now if we hit enter so this is probably a good way to 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 show you so it's saying that there are two things not showing on the map so it's underscore four underscore one four four seven okay so you see it looks like that we've missed a zero back here and it was one four four I think it's one four four zero one four four zero right so oh, oh dear what happened copy so that was probably a good example just in, if it doesn't go wrong it tells you what it can't find on the graph so let's try again here we go yes it's working oh, where's he going where's he going where's he going right so let's watch what he does oh dear he went, went out a bit wide there he's cutting some corners I think he's driving too fast. Oi! You're cutting... Oi, what are you doing? Okay, I think... I don't think it's because of the nose. I think it's because he's driving too fast. He's driving a bit too fast. He's going to... Oh, that was close. I thought he was going to crash. Well, so far, he's he's doing all right. Okay. Oh, dear. And don't forget this... Oh, dear. This is the drag version, so... Probably we sh I should have used a slower car for the example, but... Come on. Oh dear, what's going on? I think he's a bit confused because he's a bit off. What we need is to run laps, we need to have the last point to tie up with the first point. What we'll do is we'll get back to our notepad and the, f oh dear, what happened? Go back to our notepad and what we'll do is this bit here, we'll copy that and then we'll add it at the end. Make sure so it's it's a comma space and then that's it and I think another comma has to be there but so now if we put two laps now in theory the car if it can make it round should do more than one lap this time let's try again quick I've set it to two laps and let's see how we go let's take off the navigraft good and then bring up the script screen paste it in oh no I haven't, I haven't copied it yet copy that and now should so just do control a if you want to overwrite whatever's there then control v to paste in let's see now in theory hopefully this guy will now do two laps so let's see how he gets on let's do cinematic oh he's gonna crash again isn't he oh no well done well done he avoided that <laughs> He avoided the crash, but this is somewhere, oh dear, oh dear, snaky, shaky, shaky, um, oh, dear. where are you going? Okay, right, then it'll reverse. So, so far he's done this without crashing at all, and it's really quite wonderful. <laughs> Spectacular driving, Grandad. Oh dear. And then, oh no, don't overdo it. Oh dear, bumper has half come off. Now hopefully he'll figure out, so the, the computer will na will try to navigate round the roads. But like I said, this road is a bit tight, so... Okay, that was lap one. Oh dear, losing control. Okay, so it's done. And now her, now um, now he'll, the AI will do two laps and then it will finish. So that's how you script AI. And you can do it with multiple cars, but I don't think this track is a good idea because it's just way too tight. So just to, to finish off with a quick example to run multiple cars on this track because it's a bit wider and it might be a bit a bit more a bit easier to um, to get multiple cars to run. Okay, so we've got our nine cars. Now I don't know how many cars my PC can handle. I I'm sure this will be fine, but I I haven't tested the max. But so if you want all the cars to start at the same time. We need to tab through to the first car, and then we've already copied our script. What we need to do is press J to freeze physics, and then the apostrophe button thing. And we need to literally, it's a bit tedious, but we need to put that, tab across, and put this in, the script, into every single car. Yep. And it's so tedious, and I've done this so many times. Once you get the rhythm, it's not too bad. Right, now, in theory, when I hit J... There they go. <laughs> so now they're all racing. Oh dear. Oh no. What is... Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. What is going on? 
What a mess! There's 200 BXs everywhere. See, it's great, isn't it? If you if you manage to get pole, uh, the front position, the yellow one is doing fine. Meanwhile, there's a... Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, there you go. He's managed to free them up. Spinning out. It's all going crazy. All right, okay, let's just quickly move this guy out of the way. There we go. There you go. So that's the problem, is that they don't know that each other are there. They just literally run the track. And they don't know that each other are there. That's the problem. Oh dear, what's happened here? Oh, they're all over the place. Oh no. It's what happens when you give... It's what happens when you give the AI... Whoa! An, uh, a rear-wheel drive car. And the one problem is, if they do get stuck down here, they're doomed. There's no way, because they don't know that the ramp is there, you see. Ooh. Okay, meanwhile, these guys have now got three. And, oh my goodness. I'm interested now, who's going to win? More guys have spun out. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, so this red car, I think it was the demons doomed now. He won't be able to get up there. Unfortunately. You can help them, but the problem is, is then you lose track who's who's where. Oh, they're hopeless. Hopeless. Right, you, my friend. Can I, oh dear. Don't come off, okay. Oh no. <laughs> Bits flying everywhere. Okay, I should probably let nature take its course now. Okay, good. Okay, so this dude won. This guy won. Well done, sir. Okay, good. So, uh, it probably was a bit longer than I thought it was going to be, but um, I wanted to show you how to do the multiple cars. I think um, it was good to see how you do them. Oh, whoa! Whoa. Wow. Oh, that was a beautiful bit of flight. Oh, dear, he's ruined his wheel. Yeah, because some of the... Oh, he spun out again. Okay. So, I think that's it. I think, um, I think that's covered it. And um, I hope it makes sense. If um, you do have any trouble, please let me know, and perhaps well I, c I can try and help. But I will paste, I will paste some s the script in the description, so um, you can use that as a base, and uh, we can, yeah. Let me know if you I'll, if you have any trouble. Let me know. I'll try and help. But um, you know, hope you get on okay. Well, anyway, that was sort of running the script AI. Um, I hope that makes sense. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.